Welcome to Combo Collectibles, your source for all things collectible. I'm your host, Spencer, and today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing what is sure to be one of the nicest figures in my fairy tale collection. Today we're checking out the brand new TPA Studios Urza Scarlet in her Ataraxia armor. Uh, now, if you guys didn't notice, we had to get a bit of a different setup for today. Uh, we got a little bit of a bigger table and we had to back the camera way up uh, because this package is enormous and it would not fit in my normal setup. Uh, I pre-ordered this from the Fanatic Anime Store last year when they went on pre-order. Uh, these figures went for, I think it was about 280 American, which worked out to about 350 Canadian. Uh, I just got mine in the mail yesterday. I'm super excited to get this unboxed, so let's check it out. Yeah, like I said, pretty big package here. Uh, it's a 1-6 scale figure, uh, and there's a lot of detail behind it, so it's going to be pretty tall. I think it's about 46 centimeters high. Uh, hence the gigantic box here. So give me a minute here. I'm gonna see if I can get this opened up for you guys All right guys there we have it sorry that took a minute uh, that was really in there It was a very snug box um, and they had kind of like plastic corners around the sides uh, that I had to break, which is good because it kept it from getting damaged. There is one little ding on this corner, but all in all, the box came in pretty good shape. Uh, so let's check out the artwork here because this is actually really cool looking. Um, so on the front, it looks like we've got some uh, actual pictures from the manga or clips from the anime. So that's really cool. And then on the back here, uh, there's actually some artwork of Urza in her Ataraxia armor, which is awesome. Love that and TPA Studios on the top. This is definitely the biggest figure box I think I've ever had in my collection. Uh, this is enormous. So I'm guessing this is gonna take a couple minutes to get open and assembled, but I can't wait to dive in here. So let's check her out. Okay, so we've got all the pieces out. As you can see, it comes in several pieces, obviously. Uh, great job with the packaging, though. That was all custom-fitted foam, uh, so none of these pieces were getting damaged on the way in. Uh, so let's get started putting this together here. Uh, this is the base piece here, which is actually the heaviest piece. That's very heavy, actually. So there we have the base piece. There's a lot of nice scenery on this one as well. Um, oh, cool. And uh, yeah, I heard there was something on the bottom here. So we've actually got a nice image of Urza Scarlet on the bottom of the base there. That is really cool. And the other piece I want to talk about right before we put this all together here is there is a coin here as well. If I can get it open, there we go. Okay, so there is a coin here that says Titania Urza Scarlet has a nice picture of her on uh, TPA Studios on the back. Uh, and this is actually a numbered piece as well. Uh, so I got number 104 of 288. Uh, so that is really cool. This is actually my first statue in my collection that is a numbered limited piece that came with something like this. So I'm very excited. That is really cool. There's only 288 of these and I got number 104. I am so happy. Uh, now I'm going to take a minute here. We're probably going to speed this footage up a little bit because I feel like I'm going to be here a while. I'm going to see if I can get this figure assembled and we'll be right back. Alright guys, there you go. That was quite a lengthy process. A few of those were a little tricky to figure out, uh, but the pieces all fit nicely together and it feels like there's little magnets in there as well to help you guide them into the right spot. Uh, unfortunately, there was no instruction manual, so I had to figure a few of those out myself and reference a couple pictures real quick. Uh, there are two very small feather-like pieces and I cannot figure out where they go right now. So I'm going to have to look that up later online and figure out where these go. But honestly, right now, I'm just too excited for the figure to even worry about those. This is such a beautiful statue. It's amazing. Uh, it's in really good shape, except at the back here, there is one little uh, smudge of like dirt or something, but it looks like it's wiping off, so I'm gonna clean that off with a cloth after. 
Uh, but honestly, I'm so, so happy I got this figure. It is absolutely beautiful. Uh, I love her Ataraxia armor uh, and the way that they have the swords all laid out behind her and the energy effects look absolutely amazing. Uh, I love the set as well. Uh, even the water looks real at the front, the rocks, uh, the uh, the plants and everything. It's just, it's so amazing. I don't even have words. I am so happy that I got this. It's an absolutely beautiful, beautiful figure. It was definitely worth the money and I'm really happy that I got to unbox it here with you guys. So right now, why don't we move it into the workbench and take a close up look. Well guys, thanks so much for joining me here today and checking out this amazing TPA Studio Urza Scarlet figure. Uh, like I said, I'm very happy with the detail on this statue. And oh hey, speaking of detail, did you guys notice on the close-ups? I figured out where those little feathers went. It was part of her hairpiece. So I'm glad I got that on there in time for us to look at it. Uh, but all in all, this is amazing. The scenery that they added all around her, uh, as well as the clear effects on the magic energy and even the waterfall at the front. I think details like that take figures to the next level. Uh, I also really like the hair sculpt on this one. Uh, sometimes anime hair is a little hard to do on figures. It doesn't quite turn out right, especially when it's blowing in the wind like that. Uh, but I think they did a very good job of her. Uh, and even her facial expression uh, looks very much like Urza. Uh, she does have an angry look on her face because she's clearly in the middle of a battle. Uh, but that is typical of Urza in the show. So all in all, I think this is a great figure. Uh, like I said, I picked it up on the Fanatic Anime Store. If you guys are looking for any fancier figures like this, they are a little more expensive, but they have a great selection of cool figures like this. So definitely check them out. Uh, and if you're a fan of fairy tale, make sure you subscribe to our channel because next spring I have another epic fairy tale figure coming in. We'll have to wait a little bit for that one. But in the meantime, we'll be doing tons of other figure and Funko Pop reviews right here on Combo Collectibles. But right now, I want to thank you guys so much for watching today, and we'll see you all next time.